in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed it's a season of the rain. We will step into realities this year. We will step into strange dimensions of grace. And the Lord will grant it so in the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into levels of realities that will change your physical form. Your physical form that will alter you. When Moses stood in the glory, he did not know that he was being changed. After 40 days, he stepped out and his skin, his flesh, his physical flesh. It's, it's not just about using cream and all of that. There is a level of glory. I'm telling you, I want you to believe this. God is not playing games with us. If we mean business with him, he says, who has believed our report? Who has believed? You will see mountains melt as if they never existed. That's what happens when the glory of the Lord comes. You will see God turn around situations. He said, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I want every meeting that we come for all through this year, you must be very intentional about it. You must be very definite about it. Hallelujah. You can greet and play around after the service. But the moment you step into this building, before the meeting starts, I want you to know that you are standing upon Mount Zion. And anything, just anything can happen. Hallelujah. That's what God wants to do. Let it cover all the earth. Oh, that's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. That's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. Let the rain of His Spirit cover us. Let it cover all. I wrote this song years ago from my spirit. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Lord, cover us with your glory, even tonight. And bless our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The reality of spiritual laws. The reality of spiritual laws. The reality of spiritual laws. What we'll be learning tonight will be so powerful. So powerful. My goal for us this year is that we will become so powerful. Men and women of extreme spiritual power. And it will happen as... We are shown the keys of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom. Listen, let me tell you something. For years, for years, 
there has been a cry in my spirit. Somehow, there is a testimony in my spirit that our generation has lost touch with ancient realities. You hear me use that word again and again. People move forward, but something in my spirit keeps drawing me back. And it says, if you can go back enough, you will find something we lost. Hallelujah. I've been intrigued every time I read things in scripture and it talks about ancient things. There is something that the ancient knew. It's not supposed to be so difficult. We have lost touch with the dimension of reality. Carnality. Flesh. Intercourse with Babylon. Cut short a flow of spiritual reality. And the Lord told me something last year. He said mantles do not leave the earth to heaven. That means every dimension of grace that has ever been displaced in the earth. There are a in certain dimensions here in the earth realm and if we can trust the ministry of the Holy Spirit he will navigate us to those parts and we will collide with these ancient mantles and we will do strange things upon the surface of this earth you believe that? and this is our journey show us great things oh God the reality of spiritual love Aside from revealing the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to the body of Christ, one of the cardinal areas of my call is to teach the body of Christ the principles of the kingdom. To unveil to the body of Christ that dominion is a resultant effect of the knowledge and the comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. A mystery is a hidden truth that requires the agency of the spirit or another spirit that is not of this realm to open an individual to the reality. It's called a mystery. Mysteries. The occultic realm operates on the strength of mysteries. Coded operations that are shrouded in mysteries. Science cannot explain it. It takes your fraternity with another spirit to open you up to those dimensions. And so he said, it has been given unto you to know. The word know there is the word a man and a man knowing his wife. It has been given to you to come into a union with the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. If we ever will attain to that stature of spiritual authority where we can legislate on behalf of the kingdom, then I want you to know that it will never just be by impartation. It will never just be by stories. It will stand upon the strength of something that we know. What did Job know that turned his financial predicament in a moment? The Bible did not tell us what business he did. The Bible just said Job prayed for his friends. Mysteriously, people started coming from everywhere. Brothers and sisters, are there portals we have lost in the spirit? Have we not lost touch with certain dimensions of spiritual reality? Hallelujah. The prophet said, bring me a mystery. Who taught him? Who lectured him? How did he know? He said, I will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart. My heart is indicting a good matter. He said, yea, I speak of excellent things. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Who taught this man? Who taught the psalmist that praise was a garment that a man can wear? He called it a garment. Not an attitude of praise. A garment of praise. Every time they praise God in the place of war, I notice they use a coded language. All they said was, for he is good and his mercy endures. It was not any kind of praise. There was a time. It was like a spiritual code. Every time they began to say, for he is good and his mercy endures. He rose as a man of war. Meaning not every word invokes every dimension. There is a kind of language that makes God to operate in a certain way. Are you learning something? 
help us, oh God. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, part of my resolutions this year is that I will open us up to deep things. Some of us will be afraid of some of the things we'll be learning. I've been praying and say, Lord, prepare your people. Because it will rattle the, the foundation of what you know to be Christianity. And you will know that many preachers have lied to us. Hallelujah. So let's prepare our hearts. Because this thing is not the exclusive reserve of one man. It has nothing to do with the boasting of a preacher. Let me tell you something. The hallmark of an apostolic ministry, I will keep saying it till we understand, is not just miracles and signs and wonders and manifestations of the Holy Ghost. There is a dimension of that, right? But the hallmark of the true apostolic ministry is the ability to receive the revelation that is meant for a dispensation to understand it and communicate it accurately to the people of god because the apostolic ministry is dispensational are you following me now and the knowledge of god is also dispensational meaning there is a curriculum there is a scope of understanding that god expects a dispensation to know are you following me now so that what we call eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations Every dispensation coming with a revelation of God and adding that revelation to another dispensation. Are you following me now? And that means that our dispensation has certain dimensions of God that we must know and we must touch. But it takes the apostolic and the prophetic ministry not just to do signs and wonders and to lay hands and heal the sick. That is important. But to be able to sustain a posture in the spirit such that we can receive these spiritual realities, understand them, and interpret them to God's people. And then they will be able to walk in this path and you will see certain possibilities in our lives. Hallelujah. And this is what we aim to do in this place. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. The reality of spiritual laws. Science has taught us that there are laws that govern this earth realm. They teach us in physics and, and chemistry and other aspects of science that there are laws. And scientists have been able to come into the recognition of certain physical laws. And they have been able to account for the explanation of certain tragedies that have happened to men. Hallelujah. Over time, scientists began to inquire as to why men will encounter certain inexplainable tragedies. And they later discovered that there were laws that were being violated unconsciously. That you do not recognize that there is a law does not mean it's not there. Are you following me now? Praise the Lord. If a child does not know there is gravity and he jumps on a, a, an altitude like this, the child will fall. Gravity will not say, I excuse you. Is that true? There are many other laws. Now, I want you to know that the same way spiritual laws govern this physical, physical laws, sorry, govern this realm. There are spiritual laws that govern the operation of the spirit. Hallelujah. You are able to walk very well when you can master the laws physically. None of us will find ourselves walking against gravity, for instance. And if by any means you are to walk against gravity, you know what to do to be able to remedy the, the imbalance that you are creating. And so you do not find yourself fighting the laws of nature. Gravity, for instance. Friction, for instance. All of these are laws. I want you to know that there are spiritual laws. Say spiritual laws many people have been able to find these laws and walk with these principles and they have been able to do mind-bogging things in the earth realm and as we explore this reality my goal tonight is not so much to share what the laws are as it is to bring us into a recognition that as scattered as spiritual things look as scattered as the earth is there is a rhythm 
Are you getting my point? There is an exact synergy. There is a sequence. There is an equation of the happening of things. They are not as haphazard as we think. There is a level of order and accuracy. God designed the earth. It is our inaccurate understanding or total ignorance to his principles that has resulted to certain levels of setbacks and limitations in our lives. And in this year of the rain, God wants to open us up to a recognition of certain principles. And you will find out that what has grounded you for years, you will work cheaply. You will now find out that the, the enemy that many of us has been, have been talking about, they are not necessarily the demons out there. Our ignorance, our lack of understanding the laws of God. Say amen. The key to kingdom dominion, please write this down. The key to dominion, the key to influence, the key to power, the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom. I'll repeat it again. Please make sure you are writing something or at least jotting something on your notepad or so on, on the phone or so. The key to kingdom dominion, the key to influence, influence is the capacity to alter people's mindsets, the key to power, the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom there are ancient laws encapsulated in this bible there are laws that are older than us there are laws that predate our dispensation they have been responsible for the rise and the fall of kings they have been responsible for the rise and fall of champions and when we find peace with these laws we will do big things for the king we have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words live. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come. With open hearts, oh, let the ancient personalize it. Say, I have come with an open heart. I have come with open hearts, oh, let the ancient Daniel chapter 19. Let's begin our journey so that we can. Daniel chapter 2 from verse 19 to 22. Mandi blako shi prahata kosipa adaba. The story of a cruel king who slept and had a dream, forgot the dream and forgot the interpretation, and was mounting pressure upon all his wise men and cabinets. And Daniel said, give us time. And the Bible says he asked for wisdom. And in the night, can we read together verse 19? One to read. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Verse 20. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever. 
for wisdom and might are his 21 he, he changed the times and seasons he removed kings and set up kings he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding he revealed the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth he said then was the secret revealed <laughs> brothers and sisters secrets can be revealed not everything is known by every christian are you hearing me the bible says the secret things of the lord are not just with christians they are with them that fear him and he will reveal his covenants he will show them his covenants there are mysteries in our world there are secrets that have been archived in the bowels of the spirit. And it takes men who can press to say, Lord, open my eyes. Show me the secrets. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. Is that true? Kentucky Fried Chicken, one of the great eateries around. Um, they have a secret recipe that till today has not been revealed. Is that true? That secret recipe is what makes them unique. Coca-Cola, till today, they have not revealed the exact formula and combination. Great men dwell upon the strength of secrets. In ancient time, it was a taboo to reveal the deepest of secrets. They were known only by the king and his envoys those we call knights or apostles they were the highest representatives of the king they knew where treasures were hidden in castles they knew secret places of escape in chambers when when they came to defeat a nation they knew how to to invoke the powers of those territories to fight on their behalf it was an access that was given to them and so as his ambassadors, God wants to show us. He doesn't want to hide anything from us. He said, come, let us reason together. I want to show you how I operate the heavens. So that you can draw from this and do wonders in the earth. If you believe that, say amen. So spiritual laws are real. The spirit realm is a real realm of existence. Just like the physical realm. It is only a lot more superior to this realm. This realm is bounded by many things. There are limitations. For instance, this realm is purely three-dimensional. But in the realm of the spirit, there are many dimensions. A lot of people have preached that there are four dimensions, five. I don't believe that. I believe that there are infinite dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Because the possibilities in the spirit are defined by what dimension you can function. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so I want us to know that the spirit realm is real. The spirit realm is real. And there is a constant interaction between the spirit realm and this realm. Every single one of us under the sound of my voice... And those following us online, every single one under the sound of my voice interacts with the spirit realm every time. Whether you recognize it or not, the condition to, to interact with the spirit realm is just to be alive. Remember I began the teaching last week showing us the five elements, right? The elements of creation. We drink water. Is that true? We breathe air. Why don't we breathe dust? We breathe air to live. Air that seems to be immaterial. But we breathe it in our material body to keep us alive. So, our biological composition is, is, a, is a, 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 an intertwining of both this realm and the realm of the spirit. Prosperity is an intertwining of the spirit realm and this realm. Success in life is an intertwining of the realm of the spirit and this realm. The anointing, the ability.
ability and the agency of the spirit when a man stands and you look at somebody with cancer and stretch your physical hand you may not even make contact with the person and the person starts shaking or the person falls it tells you that there is something more than what your eyes see there is an interaction is that true watch this i'm speaking to you there is no there is no digital connection between my mouth and your heart but what i am saying is passing through your ears and it has the ability to influence your paradigm because they are spirit and life hallelujah so we must we must rise to this reality that all we see in our world brothers and sisters is not all there is praise the lord all we see is not all there is there is more say there is more in this building right now inside and outside there are more angels than this crowd gathered here and many of them are doing many things as i teach right now some are imparting graces and all of these things right walking in partnership with the spirit and they are not only angels there are also the spirits of just men made perfect testifying like the witnesses that stood with jesus at the mount of transfiguration elijah and moses representing the law and the prophet they are not the only witnesses there are many others enoch for instance right many other people so the bible says ye are come unto mount zion and it begins to tell us all the things that happen in that place listen the earlier you realize that life is entirely spiritual that the physical manifestation is only a little portion hallelujah occultists understand this politicians understand this is that true I was I was studying the world religion I'll give you a few statistics as we progress very shocking I didn't know there was that much religion in the whole world I thought there were just maybe 100 or 1000 I will tell you the figure shortly <laughs> and all these religions have followers ardent committed die hard followers meaning the spirit of man is searching for something searching for a connection with its source somehow mankind knows that until you interact with this the spirit realm there is no stability to your person there is a longing so we pray to a deity we call different names for many religions and we hope that somebody out there of a higher consciousness is listening to us there are spiritual laws the same way I can violate gravity and violate other laws and reap the consequences of my disobedience or ignorance that is the same way I can stumble into a spiritual law I do not know and activate its operation unconsciously and suddenly begin to see certain things manifest physically are you hearing what I'm saying and then on the other hand I can deactivate the operation of a spiritual law without knowing and begin to receive a ripple effect in the physical are you following me now so it seems to me like the journey of many Christians is 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 a blind dashing into spiritual laws we are not exactly sure sometimes we touch something that activates prosperity and ha has that happened to you for weeks you find out that favor is coming everything is happening and then it's like something happens and it's short there are times that you find out that everything you say in prayer comes to pass and then other times you pray and it's as if you are talking to yourself hallelujah there are times you suddenly step into a dimension and seasons and you are having dreams every night and everything you see is coming to pass and then certain times what is responsible for this opening and closing of the gates of the spirit this is what i want to teach you the reality of spiritual even for 
preachers there are times you stand to preach and you sense an unusual open heavens you are just ministering and my goodness scriptures that you you read years ago that you cannot even quote normally suddenly come to your mind and you are quoting them verbatim and other times it looks like you stand and you are wondering i hope i'm not messing up listen if you get what i'm teaching you you will keep certain portals of the spirit open perpetually hallelujah certain people have touched this realm in different forms hallelujah now watch this the fundamental principle i want us to understand as we explore this very sensitive teaching because what i'm going to be saying will rattle many of us hallelujah some of the things that i'm going to be saying will challenge us but i want you to follow me the fundamental principle i want you to have at the back of your mind is that everything created belongs to god you will see the advantage of this statement as we progress everything created belongs to god secondly all power belongs to god hallelujah all power psalm 62 verse 11 please quickly psalm 62 verse 11 it says once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power everybody shout all power all power you went to school what is your understanding of all power meaning if there is any performance that ever occurs any manifestation of the supernatural in the earth to any degree was either a release or a corruption of power that came from god please follow me god has spoken once twice i have heard this that power belongs to god look up please when a magician takes a white handkerchief please follow me tonight and waves it and brings out a dove out of it what happened what happened hallelujah when a magician slices himself into half and holds the remaining half of him and is walking and bastardizes your knowledge of physics and biology what exactly is happening listen to me he said once have i spoken twice in other words i emphasize it as a witness that all power belongs to god that means the central force in the realm of the spirit is not astrology it's not the constellation the seat of power in the spirit is God himself just follow me every religion is the hybrid of a man's pursuit to uncover and look for this mystery entity that we call God and over time what has happened is listen fallen angels you know I spoke to you about the pre-adamite dispensation we spoke a bit about that right realities that predate genesis 1 you find that in job 38 right the creation we spoke a bit now last year this year the creation of angels and all of these things right now watch this let me show you a few mysteries in the bible have you read in your bible that stars fought for a woman called deborah question was she a non-believer <laughs> have you heard that thing that stars fought for deborah have you had people mention statements like you were born with 10 stars eh? whether you believe it or not just follow me i'm not teaching you scientology i'm provoking you to be mature just listen to me are you following me now many of us come from different cultural backgrounds where at one point or the other they have brought somebody to your house hello baba mama whatever they shall brought somebody to your house and he was able to do certain things whether he used coal or not whether he used whatever and he began to unveil certain things either reveal the person that stole is that true stole money or meat or lied is that true and then he began to reveal some things how many of you have seen people who are not born again 
they have never given their life to Christ yet they have functioned in what you know to be word of knowledge is that true in certain tribes they call them those whose head has opened is that true people who can see beyond certain things listen God has spoken once let it be known to you that when it comes to the realm of the spirit there are not many forces there is one force everything revolves around him his name is God Almighty whether we accept to call him God Almighty or not are you getting my point now hmm. so how come Satan can manipulate power how come traditional rulers can manipulate power please follow me how come a man can look at this lady and say look um you will not give birth case closed he didn't ask her whether she had faith or not he just spoke on the strength of something he has been taught is that true how come people read magical books huh all kinds of books they tell them recite this and the moment they recite it things start happening brothers and sisters am i telling a lie or pastors have been afraid of confronting this issue because if we don't many of us will not know when we have entered witchcraft if all power belongs to god then whose power are witches using follow me if all power belongs to god then the religions that can turn there, there there's the video of a young guy that walked upon water physically he walked upon it huh he walked upon a building sideways and came down no pastor has done that at least i only know one bold pastor who decided is it was prophet daniel the one that lions tore him into pieces in the bad that's the closest thing that i know but the bible says once have i spoken twice that all so is it that god gave it to these demons no think about it go to zaria city and meet somebody and say i want a husband what's that thing that they carry love portion wealth portion all kinds of of things they give you and one young man is just moving and they blow something towards him he becomes absolutely confused right and starts pursuing a lady helplessly until she does whatever she wants to do with it now think about that if the bible is telling the truth that all power belongs to god i have a question by the way it will interest you to know that there are 4200 religions as of today in the world how many 4200 registered all the 4200 religions where did they get their power from satan does not create anything is that clear do we all agree question was god sleeping did they steal some of the power without his seeing what is the mystery behind the seeming strengthening of wicked forces some of you have dreams and you see all kinds of spirits appear to you you are trying to call jesus they shut your mouth with all your knowing of jesus jesus and they stand and they laugh question who empowered them if satan was created <laughs> are you prepared for this year of the rain we are going to talk we are, we are going as deep as god will help us go because we must answer some questions let me tell you when you answer these questions you will you, you will start laughing at what used to make you cry because when you see it you know that ah, uh -uh, this is the one plus one this is what made it happen and i told you that every time you catch a light what happens in the spirit grace is given to you to walk in that reality so you can see five people struggling over a demon go out go out and you will only pass no prayer light the spirits know what they are seeing you see that because the strength of evil is darkness the bible calls them rulers of darkness not rulers of light whenever there is darkness they are authorized to rule all religions of the world claim to connect people to wealth to joy 
to happiness, to life, to peace, and to God, or some kind of higher cosmic power for assistance. That's the whole bit behind every world religion. Is that not true? If somebody comes to take you now and says, Mary Ann, I want you to be part of the Confucius religion. You think you will just come? Won't I promise you something? I'll promise you wealth and happiness. I'll promise you that whatever you want, speak certain things and it will happen. Right? If Marianne speaks it and it happens, she will invite Shei and say, Shei, it's easier than that other thing you are doing. Shei will first say, I don't believe it. When life presses her to the wall, she will adopt it. The strength of this religion is that the suffering of mankind is endless. And so eventually, people will search for solution anyhow. Are you getting me? By the way, many of these religions have their branches in Africa. You would think that our suffering or our, our backwardness in technology will make us say, what is all this? Find out how many Africans do. They are not Christians, they are not Muslims, they are not Hindus, right? They are something else and they have followers. There is an acclaimed personality in this nation. I, I told you that I've repented from mentioning names. Acclaimed personality who I think for 48 years or thereabout. I don't know if it was him or, or his brother or somebody who never came out. Never came out for about 48 years. Look, even if you are sitting down for 48 years, power somehow the devil must come upon you. He must land upon your life and interact with you. Sacrifices that men have made. Now the question is, brothers and sisters, if God is good and God is great and he does not eschew evil, what would be the explanation to the seeming empowerment Preachers have thought that the power you have, the power Satan has is your power or he collected it. How did he collect it? Collect it back. The question, how did he collect it? You know, we generalize things that we owe people. Demon is working with something that is solid and provable. Hallelujah. You prayed about something. The answer did not come. Your brother said, come, let's go and visit somebody. They visited the person in two days. The answer came. Is that true? It's true you gave thanksgiving in church, but we really know where that answer came from. Is that true? A woman cries to God, comes to we preachers, and we prophesy in the name of Jesus. I command that cancer to go. Nothing went. Is that true? They just respect us and they won't publish anything on the newspaper. And they quietly go and meet another person. And they invoke things and they have the baby and women of God come and claim the glory. It's better let's sit down and ask ourselves the truth. And answer these questions. Or keep telling lies. There are many people telling lies in church. Many of the miracles people claim to get in church. I am telling you, they got it outside the church. They consulted a lot of powers. There are families today who will never give their children in marriage until they go and ask certain people. And they confirm is that true whether whether you are a pastor whatever you believe keep your westernization they will go and consult even if it means them buying goat ram sheep human being they will consult is that true what then is this mystery there are five religions major religions out of the 4200 the first is Hinduism. The second is Buddhism. The third is Islam. The fourth is Christianity. And the fifth is New Age. There's no time and it's not within the scope of the teaching to tell you what these individual sects, if I will call them, believe. There are others who believe like the Hindus, for instance. Hindus believe there is one great God, but he expresses himself in many ways meaning there are many ways to approach him right 
so they can have many kinds of deities or envoys that help you communicate to this god and they believe in several doctrines of reincarnation buddhism many people think buddhism worship buddha no they just feel that buddha is the person who has been able to attain that highest level of consciousness as they call it and so they model after his life same with all the other religions new age is the recent teachings that was perpetrated by the kingdom of darkness under new age you are god it's a it's a little stealing away from the bible all these religions there's no time i would have proven to you that they all have their origin from the bible that's why they can prove to any christians that's why christians are the most vulnerable is that true they take bible and show you what supports their belief and you say wow this thing is in the bible meaning god must support it there comes that theory that all roads still lead to the same god have you heard those those devilish teachings and so people tell you don't worry when you go to the harbalist you say look don't be scared with all this color not i'm doing it's still the same thing it's just different ways of invoking the same god and then he invokes the color not and he says psalms 1 verse 3 i say ah psalms Abba. i know psalms go ahead right to now justify that because psalms 1 was mentioned god is in it is that true what deceit all power belongs to god now watch this i want you to know this the fallen angels hallelujah those we call the fallen angels i've taught us but i'll repeat it again just for the sake of establishing a few things the fallen angels when they came to the earth please listen to me they interacted with men and part of that interaction was responsible for supplying certain deep informations don't forget that they were all in heaven right certain laws are god's own laws and they are made to happen how many of you go to the farm and pray and fast for crops to grow please tell the truth after you sow you go back and say oh god no once you sow it to the earth you go back a man can kill another man and steal his land and sow and still reap a bumper harvest because of the existence of physical laws so it is god has put spiritual laws are you getting my point now for spiritual laws to work please come i'm establishing something come sir for spiritual laws to work in the spirit a spirit must assist you in activating its operation are you getting the rules for any spiritual law at all to work there must be a spirit entity that will assist you it is in partnership with a spirit before any spiritual law can be activated so if i am a magician and i'm doing a lot of abracadabra for instance there must have been a spirit that was invoked appeased or a demand is placed upon him is that true now let's explain our traditional festivals what happened what is the whole goal of many traditional festivals they first appease certain spirits either with people who must die or sacrifices and when those spirits are appeased the mediums that interface between the realm of the spirit and the physical realm let the people know that ah this goat the spirit has, has eaten it although you are seeing a physical good the priest ends up eating the flesh physically uh, uh, the honorarium the, the, everything goes to the priest but i'm saying that the whole goal is that the sacrifice has been received is that true that's what happens no man by his strength can activate spiritual laws are you getting my point there must be the assistance of a spirit watch this i want to shock you now the holy spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws just follow me the holy spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws the spirits of dead men 
can activate spiritual laws. Ancestral spirits can activate spiritual laws. Demons and spiritual wickedness that operate in the heavenlies on the strength of the fact that they are spiritual entities, they can guide men to activate spiritual laws. Watch this. So there is a universal law in the spirit. For anything to be of God and to carry, to carry God's signature, there is only one spirit that validates. Are you getting my point? The Holy Spirit is the only spirit authorized. The most holy spirit of God. The only one authorized to activate any spiritual law such that God becomes involved and the glory goes to God. Are you getting my point? That means, watch this. It is possible that I can use magic power and look at Sam and do a miracle, a real miracle. It happens, but it did not happen by the Spirit of God. But because it is a manipulation of a spiritual law, it will happen accurately. Are you getting what I'm saying? That means I can give a woman a child, but not by the Spirit of God. Is that true? I can use the advantage of my partnership with another spirit and remove cancer from her stomach and put back another spirit. That means I can receive word of knowledge from a spirit. Accurate word of knowledge, but not from God. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? When you understand this, listen to me. You will hold the Holy Spirit as a matter of life and death. Are you getting my point? Now, the problem with many men of God is when they started their journey, they started with the Holy Spirit. But they allowed their passion to make them leave the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Ghost said, wait, I'm schooling you in this area. They said, I'm in a hurry. I must enter prophecy. I must enter this Holy Ghost. You can go. And another Holy Spirit, another spirit, really not holy. Another spirit continued the journey. Are you getting the point? And because... They seem to have been progressing in spiritual things. That spirit of deception made them feel that is the continuation of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So although in them, they feel something is wrong, there is, there is a mixing. Many men of God in this country around that we call fake are not fake. Even those who do magic. Most of what has happened is a perversion. Are you getting me? They went under certain people, certain hands were laid in them, and certain demonic forces were invoked to begin to work with them. And it activated certain possibilities, and they started gaining knowledge on certain laws. Is God helping us? Or are you afraid of the teaching? You will be changed, His glory will be revealed. When the Spirit takes over your soul, you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. I know you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. For you are being changed. His glory is been revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. Listen, when you hear us talk a lot about the Holy Spirit and emphasize Him, it is because there are other spirits already. And if you do not embrace the Spirit of God, you will meet with another one eventually. The day you need a job, you will meet with one. Hear me, look up. You never go to a herbalist and return the same way you came. Did you hear what I said? You never, impossible, every man communicates to you out of the strength of the spirit that assists him if you come to me for help and i'm a magician and you are watching me do the magic you finish and say nice man you think you just left 
but you did not live alone automatically that's why you will return again someone makes you return the people inside and outside both those who wanted to come or did not come the spirit of the living god drew you is that true when you understand these brothers and sisters you will not be impressed just by everything that happens physically you will seek to know what is the motivation and the spirit behind the operation many of us are are very once you see supernatural things you are happy it doesn't matter whether it came from the pit of hell or wherever you are just happy right and right now we live in a generation where many people want to enter prophecy young people want to enter prophecy and 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 they want to enter world of knowledge they want to enter dimensions now nothing is wrong with that it's because of the revival that is coming but satan is already preparing a major deception because he has seen it that's one of the reasons why i'm teaching this there is a major arsenal of deception that the devil wants to release to the nigerian church where there will be an outburst of a seeming outpouring but it's not the outpouring of the holy ghost and you will see men move in charismatic dimensions you will see people do things like angels right almost no limits to their impossibilities and even they themselves would not know that they are being deceived are you seeing why the book of revelations and the rest prays that even the elect can be deceived I have prayed for many people in meetings anointed people ministers of the gospel and as i minister to them i may never get to tell them but they may think what they are receiving in that meeting was impartation what they were receiving was first deliverance from a strange spirit acts chapter 16 don't turn there remember a lady who had the spirit of divination is that true did she give people word of knowledge please answer me and the bible says when some businessmen found her they said you are exactly what you are looking for and they started using her you pay money to prophesy you think if the people were not getting results they will come back they were getting results she will say this will happen and it will happen and when paul i like paul so two spirits paul had a word of knowledge her too she had her own word of knowledge two spirits right and paul looks at her and she begins to say these are great men of god you know what she was looking for she was looking for partnership because human beings cannot discern the difference so that she knew that paul was only visiting the city so let's be friends so that when you leave the city they will say ah, ah if paul is not here i am here pastors hear me you must be careful in this day and age the kinds of meeting and ministerial associations you join yourself with there are many of us they invite you everywhere to preach with everybody and your answer is yes sir you think you are saving sinners you will enter the midst of devils without knowing and they will corrupt the authenticity of the grace of god upon your life are you getting what i'm saying it will be a three-day meeting you will be the one to start first you will start and there will be mighty signs and wonders when you finish devils will come and hug you and you will snap together and then the next day people will come and they'll say just like the servant of god ministered yesterday we are continuing and people will catch strange spirit there are meetings people have gone to the moment they left the meeting lost came upon their lives and they started looking for ladies uncontrollably they fell under the anointing they rolled around and prayed in tongues and the brother got up with miracle power and love for girls confusion how can i be moving so much in the anointing right or somebody gets up and just begins to steal the reality of spiritual laws we constantly interact with this law watch this spiritual laws are very powerful because they are not only creative they can change realities in this physical realm are you following my teaching now that is the reason why a magician can hold a handkerchief and say sam hold it they say roll it and sam will roll it and sam will bring out a foul how does handkerchief change to a foul 
right what they simply did was to take advantage of the laws of creation and manipulate it are you getting my point and what is the goal the goal is to convince you to come into partnership with the spirit that is assisting them the spirit that is assisting them is not assisting them for nothing i hope you know that when jesus was on the earth he was not the only one doing miracles i hope you know remember there was a certain time the disciples were angry and they were complaining that there are some people that are doing miracles somewhere jesus you are the happening man where did this and we are your other people so if it's not you it should be us where are these strangers coming from again and jesus made a very controversial statement he said whoever is not what against us is for us ah spiritual lovers so deborah could look at the stars and say stars i understand what you represent to the inhabitants of the earth align yourself in a way that the powers that the men use for war will not work and the bible says the stars fought for deborah with the permission of god joshua my namesake in the bible what happened to him he looked at the sun and said if this sun goes down they are going to kill our people because of that sun stand still right daniel went to bed and the secret was revealed and he said oh king i know what you saw you saw a being an image stand with the head of gold the breastplate of silver and you saw clay mixed with metal at his feet and he began to describe the fall of different empires the christian empire the babylonian empire and down to the new age that attempts to communicate towards virtual reality that's the last empire the feet that is a mixture of clay and iron one side the government is soft on another side the government is hard it's a mystery he saw it described brothers and sisters listen to me the the proof that god is in a thing is not just in the result but the spirit that initiates and sustains that process this is where i'm driving at the proof that a thing is of god the holy ghost must be both the initiator and the sustainer of that spiritual process otherwise it is fetish it is demonic it is from darkness even if it produces a real result i'm giving you the reason now is producing a real result because it was the manipulation of a physical law or a spiritual law and because of the advantage of the superiority of the realm of the spirit over the physical realm it will produce results watch this every spirit that initiates a process leaves a signature of itself upon that process are you hearing what i'm saying when julius Baga builds what do they leave they build their their logo is that true if pw builds they leave everything meaning if satan gives a child he will leave his signature right if satan heals the sick he will leave his signature when you know this you will know the reason why many people do not experience complete deliverance or complete healing or many there are many reasons but the major reason is because satan comes to steal kill and to destroy so although he uses spiritual law there must be darkness in his operation so satan will give you a miracle that will create another problem right one miracle that creates another problem and you come to him he gives your family money and then gives another person the spirit of drunkenness when you come as drunkenness is being solved barrenness follows right there is a signature one law being activated and causes another one that's why it is the blessing of the lord that can make rich and the there will be no sorrow there is always a signature of darkness 
that signs upon whatever comes from Satan. Please hear me tonight. Not every open door is anointed. The fact if you force a door in the spirit, it will open. Thank you, Jesus Christ. There are secular musicians that sing. And for those of us who used to listen to their songs or those who listen around us, we pass by. When you hear their voices, you know that this voice is, it has a glory that is not physical. Are you getting me? Spiritual laws manipulated, but they must pledge allegiance to the spirit that assisted them. That's why you listen to the music and physically you receive the glory that looks like from heaven. But it does something to your spirit, man. Because those laws help Satan to continue his agenda in the earth. Is God speaking to us tonight? So number one, realize that there are spiritual laws. Number two, realize that no man can activate the operation of spiritual laws until assisted by a spirit entity. Number three, there are many spirits that can activate spiritual laws. Spirits of the dead. All kinds of fallen spirits. But God has only one spirit that is permitted, authorized to search his heart and activate these laws according to his counsel for man. And the name of that spirit is the spirit of the living God. Is the Holy Ghost spirit of the living God. He's the whole is number one. We have not allowed the spirit of God to teach us these operations of the spirit so that we can align ourselves with these laws of the spirit. I may just touch on one of the law, maybe two of the laws. Really, we'll just touch on two of those spiritual laws and then we'll just end because I want us to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Laws of the spirit. Watch this. This guy is playing this. Did you know that he's activating a law, a spiritual law? What he's playing is a language. Your senses don't understand, but your spirit understands it. That's why you want to sit down and keep listening to it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The melodies. You know why many people are addicted to secular music? Honestly, it's not just that they are bad people is that those melodies are languages they draw your spirit but because those who sing them have fraternized with certain spirits they draw you and they induce the operation of certain strange spirits so you hear him playing what he's playing he's playing the strings and he's, he's doing something to your spirit man if a heavily sits down and plays you will keep enjoying and you will fall down but not under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You will fall down and stand up and something will land on you. Are you getting that now? So it matters what spirit you sit under. It matters what spirit produces the result that you celebrate. It matters not just that results are being produced. Brothers and sisters, hear me. If we do not rise to understand the laws of the spirit, we who are the sons of light, I want you to know that many people will run to the devil and he will give them the result they want by operating spiritual laws and take their souls in exchange. If we do not rise to contend for the power and the grace that will cause fruitfulness in the life of women, they will go to Babalawos every day. We can be grumbling and be calling everybody fake and calling everybody. <laughs> we have to be careful because some of us are the ones who are fake. Not just because we are going to have a list, but we have refused to hold on to that which is real. See that? Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit must be the initiator and the sustainer of every spiritual knowledge we receive. This becomes our only guarantee to escape perversion. The Holy Spirit is the only guarantee that will escape perversion please let me surprise you and understand me you can take just this bible verbatim without the presence of the holy spirit you can still hold 
get into error are you getting me you can still hold the bible blindly and you will still get into error there are many people who go to herbalists i counsel a lot of people and some people come and meet me and they or their children or wives have gone to herbalists and they say they go to a herbalist and they see many books and they see holy bible holy bible was produced by a publishing company some of the people who produce this thing are not even born again is that true they are just doing business zondervan or whatever publishing company but it is the presence of the spirit of the living god meaning a demon spirit can still come upon this and give it another interpretation that's why every sect of the christian faith uses this but they got another interpretation by the interaction of strange spirits genesis 11 that's what happened to nimrod kush the origin of witchcraft Nimrod Kush, these fallen angels appeared to him. In fact, before Genesis 11, the days of Noah, the Bible says strange aliens started coming upon the earth. Is that true? And they started sleeping with the daughters of men. Brothers and sisters, our ladies are smart people. Do you think an angel would just come with wings and horn and say, um, Marianne, I'm in love with you. Wouldn't you run? If you see a beast with tail, with horn, says, I'm in before he says, I'm in love, you will run away. These beings were not daft. They came and walked like men. I told you, angels don't have wings. And there is no record of angels with wings in the Bible. Those who have wings are cherubims. In fact, angels appeared with people. They ate with people in the Bible. Is it not true? Angels ate with people in the Bible. When the angel appeared to Mary, she didn't say, I'm afraid. She wondered what the salutation, not the angel. Meaning they had been seeing them. When the angel appeared to Zechariah and all of these kinds of people, it is the seraphs that cover. Cartoon. Films. Have, have created these things based on their interpretation and now we are not criticizing them but they have not helped us to understand the reality of spiritual things <laughs> hallelujah are we following now ah i sense the presence of god there are so many spiritual laws i want you to know that if i ask you what are the physical laws you would name them Sir Isaac Newton, in his study of mechanics, came up with several laws, right? There are, the, the, are fundamental laws, first, second, third law. There are all kinds of laws. Laws of thermodynamics, conservation of matter, physics and chemistry has all kinds of law. Newton's law of universal gravitation. There are all kinds of law. Chemistry, Le Chatelier's principle of equilibrium. All kinds, the Schrodinger equation. All of these things are men and women coming together in an attempt to explain laws. There are laws that guide our understanding into quantum physics. Right? When we do chemistry, qualitative analysis and all of that we try to use the colors or or the things that emanate from solutions to be able to help us know what um, ion or whatever it is that is there all of these are physical laws in the same way there are spiritual laws spiritual laws spiritual laws bless you sam sorry hallelujah let's touch on two of these laws can we I read an article there is a powerful series on finance when we are teaching that one we'll share it but let me give you the preview the anchor scripture to that that series is thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over there was a relationship between the anointing on his head and the running over of the cup thou anointed my head with oil and my cup run it over hallelujah now a wealthy man was once asked what the secret of his wealth was and i got to find out that all he said was he found an ancient manual right a manual that dates 2300 years ago written by a greek philosopher that manual they seem they said seem to contain some magic powers that even if you read just the title alone 
fortunes will begin to come to you. I know some of you with all this message will say, where is that manual? I can ask God for forgiveness. Where is that manual? <laughs> Repent, this is the year of the rain. Many of you have, have suffered. It doesn't matter what. Where is that? Some of you will go and browse it after this, <laughs> this meeting. Is there an online version? Let me go come and read it and come for miracle service. Hallelujah. That means... You know what these Illuminati and secret societies and all these occultic organizations do? They are men and women who interacted with these spirit beings and they reveal to them a lot of these spiritual laws. They reveal to them that this universe is not just sand. They reveal to them that air is not just air. Water is not just water. And they have excellently archived this principle through centuries. Right? Let me tell you. These were the very principles that kings used. Did you hear that in ancient times, king had, kings had scrolls and certain things were written. In fact, part of the writings were magic formulas that would open certain doors. You see them in some of the films that you watch. All these things were an aberration of spiritual laws. What does that tell you? That means truly all things are available for life and godliness. If we can allow the Holy Spirit to take the word of God and guide us all things are really possible hallelujah one of the most prominent business law among many business people is what they call the law of attraction i i, I don't believe it in that sense and that law teaches that it is is a is an extension of of newton's law of universal gravitation that the earth is a living thing right and it begins to say all kinds of things and it credits the power to modern nature it makes it look like modern nature is supervising our, our, our activities. That's, that's demonic from the pit of hell. The devil will never give credit to God. And they have used it and made children brilliant in school. They have used those laws. How many of you have, 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 have seen all these things they spoke about? Uh, they speak about hypnotism and all of this. So I know I'm stretching you tonight. Some of you are wondering, who am I now? Am I a Christian? No, <laughs> listen i'm training you because one day many of you who want to go abroad you will go abroad and you will look for living faith and dunamis and redeem you will not find anywhere the only one you will find is a temple a temple you must greet the priest to resume your work and once you go there they will look at you and when you will not bow they will ask you questions and you say in koinonia I was taught abc and they love they say really you know, lack of exposure is what is making some of us comfortable with this our Christianity. Because we think the whole world is like Zaria. When you go out of this place and see the way people hate God, you will know you need more to stand. Is that true? That's why God refused you from going abroad. Because you would have, you would have, you would have converted. Two days you would, have, you would have left God. By the time they bamboos your mind, and then they tell you, okay, just read this portion and you read this portion and you go out and people start calling you from nigeria and sending you money so what is going on ah say let me read the other part that i didn't read again you think you won't do it hallelujah and the holy spirit has guided me through these spiritual laws a lot of them have been preached in the body of Christ. But even those who have preached them have not preached them with the level of revelation and gravity. They just preached them because one person had another man of God preach it. Hallelujah. Number one, my goodness. Pray in tongues for one minute. Say, Lord, open my eyes. Something is about to change in your life now. I've had several encounters through the word of God. I'm about to share with you. I've read it in books over the years. But when God began to open me up to it, it changed my life forever. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Let's see how far God will help us. We have to stop somewhere to pray. What you are about to learn 
must change you. I'm telling you, you will be so changed, you will be surprised. Many of you will carry the presence of God. You will carry the glory of God. You will see breakthroughs happen in your life in ways that will surprise you. Everybody read, please. One, two, read. Just the first portion, the first clause, one to read. Listen, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, it didn't say so he will become, so he already is. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he so he. I learned and I have seen it. I taught the heads of department during our retreat a bit of it and the Lord has permitted me to share this now. That your life, listen to me, your environment and the quality of your life is a reflection of both your mindset and the sum total of your belief system. Listen to me. Your life, the quality of your life today the quality of your life, the quality of your environment, the quality of the works of your hands and the things that you do is a direct reflection of your ideologies, a direct re reflection of your perceptions about God, about life, about wealth, about whatever it is. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, that means your life will eventually open up and reveal to the physical what is in your heart. A powerful spiritual law that your life and your environment will eventually become a reflection of your reality. My goodness. My goodness. That means heaven is a revelation of God's mindset. Heaven is a reflection of the excellency of his thought. Earth is a reflection of the mindset of mankind. Selfishness. Watch this. I don't know if it was last week or so that, that I said it. I think I shared it during the retreat. Take a security man. Is that true? Take him to the office. Assuming you have a, a corporation with three story buildings the last story building belongs to the ceo take the security man to that story building leave him there for two weeks that office will start reflecting his mindset right immediately because when the man sits on that chair his mindset will refuse that reality first he will feel he does not qualify for it and then second he will be afraid because he would think that after a while they will come and take it so he will say let me steal and loot the first thing is he will remove whether what did i say that day stabilizer he will steal the stabilizer and run away and sell it and say how can you put a the big stabilizer ten thousand is the, i mean the, the light is regulated from nepa on or, or what what they call them now? power holding company praise god so he will steal it. The next time he will see a beautiful artwork and he will say, how much will they sell this one, please? He say, 20,000. I say, go and sell it. There are two. Sell one and leave one. Right? You give him a glass cup. He says, no. Package them together. Let's sell it. Buy me a rubber cup, please. I'm, I'm contented. His mindset is already playing out. He will step into the place dirty and won't clean it. Right? He will eat food and leave it there. He will lead that document. He will take any piece of paper and clean water with it, not knowing what the document is. At the end of two weeks, that office has reflected his ideology. That's why those who get who wants to be a millionaire, none of them ends up being a true millionaire after five years because what they, are, what they have gotten does not subscribe to the truth, the principles that brought it. You never become wealthy by receiving dash money i'm telling you this 
There are people who receive 100,000 every month, maybe from parents or well-wishers. But the revelation they have about prosperity, about God, about money, drives wealth away from them. Is that true? Are you getting me? There are men of God whose churches you will never see miracles happen because there is a mindset about miracles they have that will never allow the Holy Spirit to bless people. Is that true? They don't want to see anybody fall under the anointing. They don't disturb us with noise. We want order in this church. And because of that, although they are God-fearing, the Holy Spirit wants to do great things but their ideology. So listen to me. The only way to change your life is to change your mindset and your perception. Listen to me. I was teaching the leaders and I taught them this. I told them, do you know why some ministries have the best of everything? Have you wondered why? You see certain ministries, the best keyboardists, the best um, computer um, people, the best sound people. Let me tell you why. Because the 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 mindset of that man right will bring to that ministry people who are consistent with his ideology there goes the same birds of the same feathers do what so the bible says this in proverbs chapter 4 now right 4 verse 23 it says guard your heart you see that with all diligence this is the bible it says keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are what the issues the quality of your life is locked up within your mindset i believe god for anything i believe god can take this ministry to any height hallelujah I do not ever believe that there can be limitations in the work of God. That's my mindset. Right? That's why you see members of living faith. For instance, they are men of faith because they are a reflection of the conviction of the founder. Being a man of rugged faith. It's in living faith you hear that a man died and they carried him and rubbed oil from his head to his toe till he came back. And they come to testify. Do you have the gods to do that kind of thing? It's in living faith you hear that a man died and for three days his wife was with the man on the bed and said, you are still my husband, you are alive. And after three days he comes back to life. He did not need to necessarily change them. He first changed himself. Listen, if you are not changed, your words will not carry power. Your words only reflect the authority based on the change that has occurred in you. That's why, see, let me tell you, if Creflo Dollar or any of these people who are really well, they come right now and teach you on prosperity, some of you will be crying and you hate poverty forever. Not necessarily because what they are sharing is deep. They are communicating their reality. If Sam comes and holds the mic and begins to worship, what he is reflecting to you is an overflow of his reality, the deposit of the anointing within him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why you can listen to another musician and nod your head. And Frank Edwards, for instance, can sit on his keyboard and play the same song and you are crying. Brothers and sisters, leaders influence people by becoming the change they want the people to be. Right? That means when I become convicted by my ideologies, it will influence your perception and it will be easy to change you. That's why the more successful a man becomes, the easier it becomes to influence others. Because his life now has sufficient testimonies. Are we getting blessed? Many of us want to see changes in our lives in 2015. Hear me. Change will never come if you are still blaming people. You and God in partnership with his word are the only requirements for that change to come if you do not allow the word of god to renew your mindset i promise you you will never get anything in your life that has not first become a reality and a deposit in your spirit is somebody hearing what i'm saying that's where it is out of this that 
all kinds of religions bring a lot of metaphysics and what they call um, astral meditation, right? So they tell you, put a picture of the, the jeep and you look at it and say, ah! They say, now see yourself in the jeep. They say, I'm driving. You see, that is madness. But I'm only trying to tell you that they stole those laws. They are an aberration, a corruption of spiritual laws. That's why whenever God wants to bless a man, God convinces you and makes sure you agree with him. If you don't agree with him, it will never happen in your life. For a long time, God kept telling Abraham, I want to change you. Abraham could not get it because of his idol worship mentality. And God said, come out. I don't know what to do. To come out. He said, start counting the stars. Abraham was counting. And he was seen. He would count and miss. God said, do it. Just continue. And his mind was acclimatizing. And Abraham said, wow. And the Bible says, finally, Abraham believed. And it was counted unto him for righteousness. When the angel appeared to Gideon, Gideon said, oh, don't deceive me. The angel took time. He didn't quarrel Gideon because he knew that if Gideon did not agree with him, nothing would happen. And Gideon said, I need proof. Let the cloth be wet. Let the ground be dry. He said, no problem. If that's what it takes to adjust your mindset to authorize us, go ahead. And Gideon said, now don't be offended. Let the cloth be dry. I, I want to convince myself. When Mary said, how shall these things be? Gabriel owed her an explanation and it took time to explain. And she said, I believe. Although I've never seen how a woman gives birth without a man, but I believe. And he said, be it unto me according to your word. Instantly she got pregnant. Zechariah had seen a lot of spiritual laws. That's why when he doubted Gabriel, he said, let's shut the mouth of this man. He's going to use the next spiritual law I'm about to teach you to change what we want to do. Is somebody learning something? Hear me. This is what makes ministry easy. I never spend time just wondering how do we publicize to get crowd. Koinonia will be a reflection of the quality of both the spiritual, the intellectual, and the physical ideologies of the leaders. You change a system by changing the leaders. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of our fathers did not change themselves. They took one bottle of Gouda and slapped you when you took one cup. Did you change? You see that? Because they have become a reality for you and they are saying, if I catch you drinking, that's the day I will kill you. Go and buy me Gouda, Joe. They just finished talking to you and they said, go and buy it. Please hear me. If you want to see changes in your life, you are going to have to find out what ideologies have kept me where I am. There are some of you who never believe God can bless you. Right? As you're looking at me right now, if God even says he will give you 100,000, you say, Amen. You know that kind of unbelieving Amen. Listen, let's not make God look like a liar. This is the year of the rain. There are some of you who God wants you to walk in levels of anointing you have never seen. There are some of you who want to God wants you to walk in certain depths. But do you believe him? There is nothing God has told me that I've not believed. I don't announce things till I'm sure I've believed it. When I believe it, I don't care who believes it again. So be it. The word of the Lord will come to pass. When God told Noah, he said, rain is coming. Build an ark. Do you think Noah just said, yes, sir? No. Noah would have said, God, my name is Noah. Your name is Yahweh. You're, you are almighty. We are not the same. Convince me. Convince me. When Noah was convinced, after 120 years, based on X timing, he still didn't give up. We talk about Abraham who waited 25 years. What of Noah? Noah waited 120 years. I'm sure people will say, look, when we were 50 years, when I gave birth to three children, this stupid man was busy building this ark. He has been searching for gopher wood around the whole world to build. Searching for gum. Searching for a lot of things. And then when he finished, we now saw him going to the jungle looking for every kind of bed. Imagine what they would have told his wife. Say, Madam, did you have to marry this man? But listen, 
One day, one day, his confidence in God showed him. Listen, you may be tight in now. You are seeing what God is doing in your life. You are seeing the anointing of the Spirit upon your life. It may not show. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are what? Seen. But the things that are unseen, I'm giving you a scriptural proof. It said, for the things that are seen are what? Temporal. That means there is a level of confidence and renewal that can change anything you see before you. Brothers and sisters, do you believe this? Pastor Jakes is here, he will testify. Right from when the ministry, this used to be all of us. We form a, Aaron is here. We form a circle. And all just sit down on the floor. I made certain statements like a fool. Right? But today, and listen, this is not even it yet. You wait and see what God will do with us. Oh, I believe him. I believe him. Absolutely. Carve upon my heart This truth that sets me free According to your Do you know your academic situation can change? Please, I'm speaking to somebody. Do you know your destiny can change? If you keep thinking we are the helpless Nigerians, I guarantee you, after 50 years, you will celebrate golden jubilee suffering. But I will feed nations. Huh? I may be robbing granot oil as, as, as Vaseline, but a day will come. Why we look not? Brothers and sisters, as I look at you, I don't see the weak you. That's why I say, as I look at you, I see nations. Nations. Who told you you will not be the mother of nations? I'm 30 years. So what? So what about 30 years? Would you stand and say, I saw when I was 23, I know that the Lord told me I'm giving birth to a prophet and it's going to arise. That vision is still there. I am convinced. Yeah. The things that we see are subject to change. One day you are taking your bath and you see growths and tumors all around your body. You just say, hey, this is how I'm going to die. Cancer. And the devil said, not just cancer, fibroid, fibroid. Notice, do you know that many sick people may carry certain sicknesses for years and never fall sick because doctor has not told them. Now doctors, don't be, don't be sad. I'm just saying, because you did, you did not know it was not your reality. Many men were carrying prostate cancer carrying all kinds of things many ladies carrying fibroids carrying a lot of things and nothing happened to them but the day they looked and said do you know do you really know the implication of ss are you aware that the way that this has been happening you won't get a child in fact the way we are looking cat is your womb self it's not looking like the womb of a human being you just say ah and you now start saying that means no marriage a godly brother comes and you say my brother i'm pitying you you i don't want you to suffer in this life reality i hope you are laughing and you are see i'm telling you the secret to some of these results that you see these are my contemplations those who know me know that my reality is defined i never surround myself with nonsense you don't come around me gossiping and, and gossiping and speaking because I know that I am absolutely in control. This has become the mirror to my world. This is how I see things. I only see things consistent. When I'm going for a meeting, I know there will be an outpouring of the spirit. I don't care whether they have faith or not. I don't care whether they can believe or not. Whether they are instrumentalists to charge the atmosphere or not is irrelevant. When I step there, I know that I bring an atmosphere. I carry my own spiritual climate. Me and the Holy Spirit, a team. The workers in this ministry have received of this spirit. That's why in the afternoon they arrange chairs and they dress. Who guaranteed them that you were coming? Did you sign a form? We having the same spirit of faith as it is written. Koinonia, hear me tonight. 
we are only 23 or 24 days into january you can sit down with this your belief system and you will celebrate christmas in this condition or you can rise up ah but i know people who love god they have died i know people who love god things have happened brothers and sisters we are talking about you here not your neighbor the just shall live by his faith hallelujah do you believe this i read a story of somebody 109 years still alive in fact three women they were even putting makeup 109 years life and strong in the midst of this wicked world they don't expect what do you expect in your life see these are powerful spiritual laws the second law give me five minutes genesis chapter one verse three quickly please the creative power of words i know that we have been taught that words are powerful but I want to show you the spiritual dimension of words. There is a reason why God called himself the word. You know why God named himself the word. It says, and God did what? And God, not and God wished. Not and God expected. Not and God complained. He said the earth was dark and void and formless. And God, the talking spirit, said. The word said there doesn't mean, and God declared. What it meant was, God commanded it to be so. The word said there does not just mean, and God recited. No, God didn't recite anything. Say, I'm healed, I'm healed. That's recitation. You are not talking. What many people have been talking in the body of Christ that they are calling confession is recitation. I'm telling you this. The word confess comes from the Greek word homologio. It's not just repeat what you say. It's you are given an empowerment to say it. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And you read the verses down the line. It says, and God said, and he saw. And God said, and he saw. And God said. And he saw listen to me words are powerful because when you speak a word it activates spiritual laws and activates other laws listen to me there are many laws that make realities to work the key to activating their operation is in words are you hearing what I'm saying so when you speak whether you realize it or not something is loose and something is tied it depends on what is loose and what is tied. Please follow me. The Bible says, how did he put it now? Whatsoever you bind, right? Do you bind just by tying a rope? Jesus looked at a fig tree and he didn't need to say the law of fruitfulness cease operation from this tree. The law of regeneration stop. I command the fertilizer. Don't enter the root again. He just used words and activate all the laws that needed to be activated for that tree to shrink. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So instead of learning all the laws, God gives you the keys that activates them. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when I declare and I say, I am healed, I release a lot of spiritual laws. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If we stand now and I declare, I say in the name of Jesus, the power of God will start moving in this place. Suddenly you hear people falling and shouting. Why didn't it happen now? Listen, the words that I'm speaking are activating both the operation of angels, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Our words activate the dimension of God that is revealed in a meeting. That's why we're during miracle service. The worship people sing songs that invoke that dimension. Are you getting what we're saying? If you know this, you will know that from morning till night, some of you have activated woes and tragedies in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen, 
let's let me show you a few scriptures our time uh, i've been fighting i'm 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 sorry we've been closing so late we'll see what we can do about it it's just the passion in my heart psalm 141 verse 3 media please help us let's rush so that we get up and round up (sighs) psalms 141 verse 3 it says set a watch O lord before where and do what keep a door knowing that every time i speak my mouth didn't just open a door open in the spirit the opening of my mouth is the opening of a door in the spirit he says set a watch oh god this my mouth can lead me in trouble so set a watch set a watch over my mouth numbers chapter 14 verse 28 zipra tokashi la kariata ko sopra de katayara ba vindike sila kariaba numbers 14 verse 28 very quickly everyone read want to read 28 28 say unto them as truly as i live saith the lord as ye have spoken in my ears so i will do what as i hear you say not wish he said let the redeemed of the lord he already called you redeemed but he says say it let the shield of the lord say so let the prosperous of the lord say so let the anointing of the the anointed of the lord say so they are not reminding themselves they are activating that reality everybody say when i speak i activate realities say it again when i speak i activate spiritual laws that's right it depends on what law you activate but something must be activated when you understand this you will know that words are expensive let's look at just two more verses proverbs 18 verse 21 if you can look at that proverbs 18 you can write it down father you reign great are you lord you are greatly to be praised listen death and life are where did he say death and life are on top of your head did he say death and life are it says death and life are in the power the proceeds of the tongue and like a seed they that love it shall eat the fruit that grows from that seed the bible says the seed is the word in the parable of the sower what is the seed meaning every time you speak you sow the seed is that true he said the seed is the word so when i begin to speak even in tongues i'm sowing i'm activating laws in the spirit when i begin to pray my day is blessed in the name of the lord jesus i am lifted i'm activating spiritual laws and i authorize the spirit of god to begin to schedule opportunities to schedule certain things and you find out that after prayer you activate laws of favor as you are stepping out you bump into your destiny helper you call it coincidence the bible calls it life that your tongue released that's why job said what i have feared most has come upon me Proverbs 13 verse 3. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Please let's read it together. He that keepeth his mouth. Stop. How do you keep your life? Insurance. Answer me. I'm not against insurance. Do life assurance, life insurance. But the Bible, the written word of God, the living logos. He that keep, how do you keep your life in the spirit? By keeping your mouth. Ah. Papa Hagin said this. Kenneth Copeland said this. Those guys said these things. So many people. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. He said, I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. But I can only advise you. Choose. 
He said, He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth what? He said, But he that openeth wide his lips, speaking nonsense any day, any time, and saying it does not matter, he says that he shall have what? As a fruit. Brothers and sisters, listen, ladies, when we are when we are about to pray in the midst of your prayer, you will lay your hands on your womb and pray and say, No devil no devil are you hearing what i'm saying some of you are afraid right now the rate at which ladies are scared of fibroid is alarming you are just eating too much you look at your stomach and say this this thing this is how it starts i have the power to create and i have the power to destroy the power of words is in its ability to activate spiritual laws that's what I want you to know. Many of us have been taught that words are powerful, but what makes it powerful? Words are keys in the spirit. They activate laws. So now, it's not just blind confession. Oh, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. As if you are reciting a magic formula. No, that's madness. You speak out of the abundance of knowledge that when I declare that I am blessed, I am activating something. You wait until we have the other series that we have. There are so many things that you will learn this year. Two laws you have learned tonight. The first one is that there are spiritual laws. And that one of the laws, listen, is that to change your outside, you change what is inside. Stop wasting your time. Whatever you don't like outside, get the renewal, the mind component of what you want outside bill johnson got it right when he wrote the book the supernatural power of a transformed mind i don't expect this ministry to ever go down we will keep speaking it we will keep rising i expect every one of you in this year to break on every side and whenever i pray for you that's what i pray i don't pray blindly and say lord eh, your will be done i know what his will is his will is not fake his spirit has revealed his will in his word I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. We will pray for just five minutes. But I want us to take this serious because as we are praying, something will be happening to you. Lift your voice and thank him for the word. The reality of spiritual laws. Bless him. Bless him for the word. Don't trivialize what you have received. It has changed kings. It has made champions. You only arise and shine when your light comes. And then the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Shabrande ke te balada ba koso prodogo do balada ba. Sheke te ke le bosko prandi ke le balada ba. Hallelujah. Three quick prayer points. Prayer point number one. You are going to say, Lord, let the ministry of the Holy Ghost be strong in my life, so that you will open me up to these deep mysteries. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. No matter your spiritual level, even if you are just visiting for the first time, pray from the depths of your heart. Please pray inside and in the overflow. Lift your voice and pray. It's the year of the rain. Holy Spirit, overshadow me in a new dimension. Open me up to the mysteries and the depths and the dimensions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
prayer point number two you are going to pray and say lord whatever needs to change in my life for my the quality of my life to change let the word of god change it change my inner reality change my mindset lift your voice and cry passionately your life is at the mercy of this prayer lord i desire a new level of excellence a new level of grace a new level of possibility in my life go ahead and pray help me to believe in you help me to believe in you help me to believe in you as the healer help me to believe you are able help me to believe you are mighty change my mindset change my perception change my perception about prosperity change my perception about protection change my perception about spiritual power change my perception about my academics change my perception about my marriage change my perception about my ministry about my business about my job about my husband about my wife about my organization lift your voice and pray your life is a reflection an eventual reflection of your convictions of your perception oh it's a powerful spiritual law i pray you believe it i pray you believe it hallelujah i can't remain ss simply because everyone is like that i can't remain as because everybody is like that i can't have eye problem because everybody has it get angry bring them bring them bring them in Say na 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 Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake it, Bokotos. Rekete, tete, tete, tete. Sopo, sopes. 
a break and tell it at her. Just those outside, the power of God is falling. I command devils, come out, come out. Come out, I command powers, demon spirits. I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, the angels of God are moving everywhere. Outside, the power of God is shaking every demonic hole. Acts of witchcraft, yokes, curses. Those outside, lift your hands again. Lift your hands. I just want you to focus on the screen. Those of you outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again. No power will hide right now. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Hey. Come out. Come out of them. Devils. Yokes. Bondages. By the fire. Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere And miracles everywhere I say right now The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Jesus. The fire of God is coming down right now. Mightily. Shekete. Mekoto Sota. Take a priestaba. Some bread take it. Secate, bring them out. Secate, secate, secate. lebosa. And break it. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Separate. Man, break both so protos. E crete legos. Secate, 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 secate. Ma prateko sopai em pretos tipali ala baba baba Se se kete baba 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 Se protos sopai kete bala baba Hallelujah This roll lift your hands 
the angel of the Lord is standing in this room. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this room, right now, in the name of Jesus, I want you to shout, Jesus, right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 Outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside, at the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there By the blood I bring a separation I bring a separation By the blood now Now, 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 now. I bring a separation By the blood By the mystery of the blood the mystery of the blood the mystery of the blood Bring the lady. 
Reshekete bakata gata bakata Zeko pakata barianda susakata Arasheru zagarota hate Hapekete pokoto payata Hapekete pokoto Paria shakarota Zika hapata Iya ya Ela bakos Parota Pekete pedele boya Eye ye Eye ye Eye ye Eye ye Pekete boya Bring her here. Patekebosha. Aroshakata, Zekota Boba, Pompania Tosa, Aroshia Katuka, Pompale, Pompale, Soriato, Akata, Braki, Pata, Pata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring the lady. Bring her. 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 Now all the devils here At the count of three Your exit comes You hear my voice I speak to you from the realm of the spirit One, two, so go, go Go, go, go Out, out, out Out, you must go By the power of the Holy Ghost Go, 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 be free, I set you free, let her go now. Leave this little girl out, devil of darkness. Out, come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out. Out. Marital delay. Give me a hand. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Out of her. Now. 
Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take up out, Posa. Come out now, Posa. In the name of Jesus Christ, the serpent spirit, your time is over. Go. Listen, some of you are not out here, but there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibro. I cause that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zigo Palada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sila Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka, Sete Lamantaria. You can move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils, be gone right now. 
One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Every kind of delay. Every kind of delay. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One, my mother was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State. Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now hold on. Why are you? I want to. It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when find you... myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that, that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. In the darkness. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her? Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They yeah, be calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. 
I always complain, why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He just say different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. Yes, what do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? University. Have you written jam? No, not you are yet. writing next week. Yes. Hold my hand. My God, in the name that is above all names, we give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, he will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones I tell you the truth and I lie not see listen prophecy every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Well, listen. Whether you know what you are writing or not, May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, the Lord, Mene, 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 who says it, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Parada shi abakrodi siza ba paradi ata zego shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No, shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood, go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou enthroned on high. Enthroned on high. Enthroned. Help me worship us. Be thou and
marriage marriage we are going to visit the issue of marriage right now please i want you to listen i'm just flowing as the holy ghost is giving me grace sister look at me just look at my eyes you must release her right now it's time for you to go out you go now in the name of the lord jesus christ i set you free let it leave you now let it leave you now Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name In the name that is above all names i pray right now by the power of the holy ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of elohim right now as you shout jesus they will depart from you now one two go Every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? another one come come you've been healed when god speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is it working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of jesus christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How long? For I've how long? Been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs. Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs even is even in my bag right now. The drugs you go and yes. bring it. 
Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. All stars. All stars are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of children. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. I try to breathe, it will hold it. Will when you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. It will hook me. Uh -huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over. But I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check. And when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me. And now I'm healed. Breathe. Do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six months. Six months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this um, peptic ulcer since 2006. Since 2006? Yes, and recently... Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure? Confirmed? Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we were outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt... You felt something. Yes, that so wicked said. thing that has sat there, he must pack his load and leave this night. I felt... Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body that whatever has not been planted by my god lives your life forever if you have problem in your eyes god is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now lay your hands there please i want to pray lay your hands please believe thank you jesus when I pray for you check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here even if you see that it has started please don't tell lies we are not playing gimmicks here some of you think it's an eye problem but it's a demonic thing I'm about to command it to leave you thank you Jesus even itching in the eyes will leave thank you Jesus now I command Eyes be healed, be healed now, be healed, be healed. Every blind eye open, every blind eye open, partial blindness be gone in the name of Jesus. Long sightedness, short sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? 
Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? This I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? His mom. We came together. With Mama. Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your no, no, let, let him lay his hands on your eyes. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that he go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa, local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus, heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command his eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him if he's seen anything. Can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is the. Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light I saw and it went. You saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. Alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light, you see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my, glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now, roommate. When we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A and sharp I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until is, you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And right now, miracles miracles everywhere. Healed? Who Pastor. brought this boy? Okay. Uh, How are you? Pastor. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone. Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? As Please as make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I'm coming now. I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! 
Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? <laughs> to the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. First God, I had these itchy eyes and... It's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over Where there. Where you were standing there? Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, that's so right. And it's gone? Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this... I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and do you today, go blank? Epileptic yeah, or something? Today I was in class and my, I was, we were reading. My friend was not asking me, what's wrong with me? I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. And she's like, okay, I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes. the, you will be skipping yes, the words. Yes, I'll skip the words. I'll go blank. And I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we were praying, I laid my hands on my, and my, hands on my eye. And then a light just, just hit me. And my hands touched me. Light shaking, again. You see the light? my eyes got very hot. And then Your I eyes it got open. hot. Yes. And you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's see. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hand, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I increased, and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns it in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's. I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness. So in when your I eyes. went to Chica, they told me it's terigium. That is mostly terigium. That is. I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some. Um, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and what got right now? So, what but happened? while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? Mm. What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own. Sister brought oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eyes took your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? Yeah. What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh huh. I, I saw that the thing have gone completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, so my eyes sometimes just to pain. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But m since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eye will, will be itching me. I was okay. like, start, start feeling sleepy. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while... The worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship. I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria. Please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. 
Line them up very quickly, please. Help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting with this sickness. Hide me from the rain. Say, My God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ.
with him. He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait! You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look at me. Since I when? I think a week ago now. You, you can't walk. The the nurse bandaged my leg. So then what happened? I started. I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, oh, goodness. Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come, come, walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't, just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what, hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. Leg is drying up. Drying you are up. feeling it now. Yes. Everybody, clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with him. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the fire.
my God is awesome. He is. He's awesome. of them the right you've never been able to use it no except with age except with an age try to move it i can move it just where is which one which of them try to move it eh? just do what i'm telling you to do try to stamp it Without this, eh? not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Just please. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Just pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful form. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. Quest, you quickly, are quickly. the joy of the Best whole world. Time. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please usher us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, write you one are quickly. The joy of the whole world.
anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. everybody rise if you can please this is a very prophetic moment please we'll start praying the rest can come and join us the other pastor please Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Shekata ba 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 ba. You do wonders in me. Shekata ba 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 kataba. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverance, so God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
God of all flesh, Zarapakata Shilia, Lezarika Patasha, we declare, Lazata Patasha, the one that parted the Red Sea, Raka Patashitalaba, Ribi Zuri Brani Nekoto Shitalaba, do the impossible right now, do the impossible, do the impossible, do the impossible. You break upon the rain and you part it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, and as, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. Testimonies, testimonies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare that with this request, so God let, the, let there be possibility right now in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, open doors in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on our chest. Out now. release her and go now hallelujah and he said to me prophesy and I prophesied as I was commanded not as I wanted I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound a rattling sound and bones began to be joined to bones and he said unto me son of man prophesy to the four winds and I prophesied O wind breathe upon the slain and the wind came and breathed upon the slain and there stood an exceeding great army I want to prophesy over your life I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you father because you always hear me when I call Lord as I prophesy over your people let it not be a ritual I pray nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen therefore I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers may they back this word and bring it to pass let this word become your word, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And the prophet said in Samaria, By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, the Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. By a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. He says, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. I'm not singing. Just concentrate. My God, would you step in and do the impossible? Do the impossible. Change the unchangeable. Change the unchangeable. My God, step in to the impossible. To the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now. Restoration now, restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration. Everything you have lost, for whatever reason it was lost, I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus. Restoration of destiny helpers. Restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten. Now, hallelujah. Every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names. Be cancelled now. 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 In the book of Job, he says. In six things will he deliver you, yea, in seven things. And one of them is the scourging tongues of men. When men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the God that I serve, every cause, every pronouncement over your life, because now, because now, because now, because now. Then the Brady shall lack a barrel, Satan, a man of a man. For he has broken the gates of brass and he has cut 
the iron in sunder. My God, I pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names. If God be in this place, I command those two leaf gates be open now. Be open now. I prophesy be open now. By the power of prophecy, be open now. Everyone called jobless in this place. In the name that is above every other name. Satele kabande kretisaka. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs, I prophesy, receive it now. Receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west. I command jobs. Every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward, may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to break that power that limits men. Every limitation, every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come. I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus. Limitations be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. I command break records. Break records. Set new records. Do what has not been done. I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted. The Bible says, Withhold not good from who, him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now Dead relationships come alive now. I pray for your academics. For he has given me the tongue of the planet that I may know how to speak the word in due season to him that is weary. He said, my tongue is the pen of the, right, the ready writer. My heart has indicted a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. Daniel was made ten times better. He said, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say. That when you stand before them, you shall not think of what to say. For in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking. I pray everyone called doll. I change that testimony now. Everyone on probation. We take you out of it now. We take you out of it now. Everyone on probation. We take you out of it now. Every missing script, every injustice done to everyone, I command the angel of the Lord to go to every department, every faculty. Let justice be done in the name of Jesus.
and everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ let the favor of god that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers i prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ Every dead spiritual life. Every dead prayer life. Every dead word study life. In the name that is above all names. Come alive now. Receive the fire for prayer. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The fire for prayer. Take it. The spirit of prayer and supplication. Take it. Let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of Jesus. Grace to pray. Grace to study. Grace to understand. Hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head when I cry for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. My head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. 
I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come and as you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family member stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friends stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything. Take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. To you withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you for coming. Don't make this an emotional decision, mean it from the depths of your heart. No matter what you have done wrong, no matter how you live your life, I want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins. And that fountain flows to bless you. It flows to wash you. It flows to cleanse you. Lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart. Please, you are not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you. Unable to help myself. I ask you to help me cleanse me wash me with your precious blood I truly repent of my sins in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today no backsliding some of you as you are praying this I tell you the power of the devil will be broken all of the chains you are going to say Satan I denounce you right now take your hands and live my life i declare that i'm saved i'm a child of god the lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory i cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life from today i'm sold out and totally surrendered now keep your hands lifted father bless these ones you have brought them use them mightily let the power of sin be broken in their lives let the power of the grave be broken let the power of the flesh be broken anoint them and use them mightily oh god let this not be an emotional decision let this be a genuine decision in the name of jesus make mighty men out of them in the name of Jesus Christ congratulations I want you to look at me 
I congratulate you for this great decision. Everyone here made this decision at one point. Now I'd like you to just follow our ushers. There's a wonderful sister waving her hand. I want you to just follow them. They'll have, they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow. God bless you. Please follow them. Follow them very quickly, please. All those worshiping with us for the first time, if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. Keep coming. Don't stop. We have a prayer for you and we have a blessing. And all those who took the pain to invite anybody here, may God invite all the blessings you need in your life. I'm very serious. I'm not just saying it. If anyone came here as a result of your invitation, I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus name. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for coming. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.